what is up guys welcome to the being beautifully honest podcast and channel thanks for being here for being subscribed if you're not go ahead and hit that button and if you're listening on youtube hit that like button it's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch let's brighten up the place and get into this politics and bs it's been a little minute since i've talked about um anything political but i just wanted to share this clip i heard this actually a few days ago and it's Charles Barkley, and he's reacting to some comments that Trump made with regards to if he was going to act like a president or was he going to try to become a dictator, which is what a lot of people fear about this person because we're in... 2023 about to go into 2024 and we're still hearing about how this elect this last election was stolen and there are people now who have been indicted some have struck plea deals some will be going up for trial in Georgia for the attempts to try to steal the election and just all of the different things that have gone on which <laughs> Most of us can say that in our lifetime, we've never seen anything like this. Even many years ago, if you remember when George Bush and Al Gore were running against each other and some people felt like Al Gore really won the election, he accepted the results and we moved on and George Bush served another term. So it's just, I don't know, it's a lot. And honestly, I'm really not looking forward to this upcoming election year because I'm already over it. I, I'm not sure what's going to go on, but I'm just honestly just trying my best to keep my close personal relationship with God and know that he is my source and not these people. So I just want to share this clip, guys, and we can go ahead and continue with this conversation. When you hear Trump speak like that, do you take it seriously, literally, figuratively? Do you see Ken and somebody who speaks in a way that regular people can identify no, I, with? I, the thing that concerns me about him, if he were to win again, I think he would spend the next four years just trying to pay back people who said or did anything to him. And it would uh, all be about retribution. It would all be about retribution. And, it, you know, we got people out here who need money for their bills. Mm-hmm. They need, you know, food and things like that. So... It, I don't care who the president is. You're supposed to take care of the people. It ain't about retribution. It ain't about what people said about you in the last couple of years. And that's one of the reasons I, I, I'm not a big Trump fan. I, I'm just not. Because like I say, it's the president of the United States. It ain't for no small little group of, of nutty people. It's everybody. I don't care. If, you know, if you know me and you are independent. Mm-hmm. And I don't have anything against Republicans. I don't have anything against Democrats. His supporters would object to you calling them nutty people, though. Well, I only call them that because they are. Uh, (laughs) They're crazy. They're like your drunk friend. Like, once your friend's drunk, there's nothing you can say to him. Like, can you imagine? Let me ask you this question. You ever seen that movie, A Time to Kill? Yes, I have, actually. And when a guy says, can you imagine President Obama was acting like this dude been acting, but they'd be like, this dude cannot be president. Yeah. You, he's not even presidential. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're supposed, like, even George Bush uh, uh, Sr., Jr., excuse me, even though you might, I might not agree with his policy, but he acted like a president. Like, you're supposed to be, like, superior. I know, you're but... Lead, you're the leader of the most important place in the world. You're supposed to carry yourself a certain way. All right, guys, so you heard what Charles Barkley had to say. I could add a whole lot more to it, but I really don't need to. You could drop the mic right there. Let me know your thoughts respectfully in the comment section. And I'm I'm glad to hear that someone like him, like myself, who is independent, because like he said, he's not a Democrat or Republican. I'm neither either. And to hear someone who has a platform, who has reach, and is speaking his mind versus choosing to stay mute or silent on this situation, I feel speaks volumes. And I know right now it may seem a bit scary for a lot of people because a lot of people do not want this man to be president again. And it's not like a personal thing. It's like Charles Barkley said, 
when you're a president, you're supposed to be the president for the entire nation of people. It's not about your personal feelings, your personal retribution, you trying to get back. And he called <laughs> he called the supporters. You heard what he called the supporters. Listen, I had to laugh at it because I thought it was funny because honestly, I I was shocked when I heard him say that. I really was. I, I can't even lie. Because a lot of people, like Gail King was saying, well, uh, supporters would feel offended you calling them nutty people. And he said, well, they are. So <laughs> I was like, well, I guess he's standing on what he said and he refuses to take it back. And it's just refreshing to hear somebody with the platform that he has to speak on it the way that he spoke on it. Because a lot of people just refuse to do it because they don't want to get the people coming at them with the words of attack or in the comment section or crazier than that, people threatening someone just for feeling a certain way, right? So anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. If you did not catch it, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Guys, thank you so much for being here, for liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye. Bow, 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 bow.